Live from the Icebox Studio in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, it's the Bill and Corey Show. I'm Bill. And I'm Corey. Welcome back. Another episode. Uh, I'd like to remind you that we have the YouTube chat set mm -hmm. up, so if you have any questions, type them in there. Uh, we're going to switch things up a little bit today. I got a question that came in at 9.37 on uh, regulators for flooring mix service, so I think oh. I'll start with that one. So uh, the question was, they had a, this isn't a 3210 series regulator, but... Um, it's got a white knob. It's got a white knob. <laughs> the, the question was, there was a 3210 series regulator, which is Monel, mm -hmm. and the person asked if that could be used for 5% fluorine mixtures. Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do, now, um, fluorine mixture CGAs are supposed to be CGA 670, but uh, m almost all the fluorine mixtures now use CGA 679, which mm -hmm. is for pure fluorine. Mm -hmm. And you need really special equipment for pure fluorine service. Mm -hmm. And nasty you stuff. Sell that. It's really nasty stuff. Uh, we don't offer equipment for pure fluorine service, but we can do up to 10% fluorine mixtures in stainless steel regulators <laughs> like this. Uh, you know, we do them as a dash ass modified, so it goes through engineering. We need to know the mix percentage mm -hmm. before we uh, before we okay it. before we build. It's got to be on the order and stuff. So yes, we can do them for uh, like the thirty five ten A. The thirty eight ten A's are a popular one. Uh, thirty six ten A, mm -hmm. which is this, mm -hmm. and then uh, the thirty two ten. If you want to spend a little bit extra money for a Monel regulator, so that's a, a yes on that one. Okay, our next question oh, yeah. is. On the, yeah, you want to pull that out for yeah. me? Yeah. That is the, yeah, why don't we get a close up on it? Yeah, close up dangled, to it's there we go. towards it's you. It's upside down again. It's actually, I don't know which way. Yeah. yeah, this is just a loose fit. So it actually looks like this. This is the, the 30 ARB valve. So what is the question though? Do we ever talk? Well, we're going to get to okay, that. Okay, I got to okay. explain this. Right, 30, right, right. Someone bought one of these guys, 30 ARB valve. It's a control valve for lecture bottles. And it would go on uh, a lecture bottle. lecture bottle like this. Um, and it's got a little gasket on there. Sometimes people forget to put the gasket in, and that's what leaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is brass, CJ170 only. Um, and it's for, it, the CJ170 is for non-corrosive gases, non-toxic mm -hmm. gases. So the CJ180, on the other hand, is for, for all everything. the gases. Yeah. So it's got a hose barb on here. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little needle valve to control the flow. It's got mm -hmm. a little gauge. Um, got you know the pressure in the, in the yeah, lecture so bottle. Yeah, you know the pressure right. in your lecture bottle for whatever reason. Wow. Um, I'll make sure it's got stuff in and there. And it's got a hose barb. So obviously you can't take really high pressures no. because it's got a hose barb. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the customer was having problems with this. You can go back to the full screen. There are problems with this uh, valve. The, the initial question was, is, hey, I can't do uh, one liter a minute. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is a needle valve. This this thing should be able to handle stand, any amount of liters. A, a lot. Well, not, maybe not that. A well, lot. not high, but like it's it very be, high flow rate. Yeah. You would empty the lecture bottle real fast. Yeah, you could. You could. But what they were looking for is they were looking for flow rates between a half and one liter a minute, mm -hmm. which isn't that much. You think a liter's... Uh, liter bottle of soda. Mm -hmm. So if you think of using that I think it's a minute, big slam. You, Does it still call it the big slam? It's a big slam. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering. But, I'm uh, soda, really. <laughs> you can... Uh, okay. Uh, no, or, or, pop, or pop where I come from for our Midwestern people. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's hard to control those low flows. If mm -hmm. you think a liter and then a whole minute, you can drink a Coke in a minute. So Good. Uh, you burp. Oh, man, so, yeah, that would be uh, so if you're trying to look to control flow, there's a couple options between the uh, half and one liter. And yes. Do you want to zero in on that one? So this is our our valve for our rotameters. It's our HA valve, high accuracy valve, and so it's a really good job at metering because it's highly accurate. Um, takes a few turns into it, and I don't know, like what what it's type like, of I think it's a fifteen turn fifteen turn valve. But what kind of valve turn. is this? Is this a what kind of valve is, is this considered? Actually, I don't even know off the top. Needle valve. It's a needle valve. Okay, yeah, it's it is a needle, needle valve. valve. Okay, so this is a needle valve. The one downside to it is it can only do two hundred fifty psig max because yeah. it's four rotameters. 
Yeah, you want to pop up on the screen the uh, HA valve graphic? There, yeah, we, go. there we that, go. That's from the uh, online store. Yes, and the good thing is is that there's multiple flow rates as well. So if you you know for this person you could get the the 1200 standard cubic centimeter. Oh, wait, it was it one liter per hour? So yeah, so it's 1.2. Okay. Liters per minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you have to yeah divide by. Yeah, yeah. So you get 1.2 liters a minute of air. So you'd go with an HA3, which this actually is. Mm -hmm. We got this out of a. Uh, Mass flow area. We'll there you go. Playing around with that. So yes, they can do that. But if they want higher pressure. Oh yes, this the uh, so this is a. Uh, yeah, you want to zoom in on this one? It's essentially a a purge gas or um, a calibration calibration gas. gas. I always want to call it purge gas, but calibration gas yeah. valve. And what's nice about this is there. If you can see right there, there's a zero right there. And so if you turn it, and hopefully... Oh, this is it, really a flow regulator. It's a flow regulator. You get 0 0.5. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's 0 0.3. Yeah, you're going the wrong I'm way. I'm going the wrong way. 0 0.5. And then... And then 1. There we go. Yeah, so... And then 1.5. Yeah. So it goes up. So you can get 0 0.5 and 1. I guess if you want it between the two, this might not be ideal because you're on one end of the spectrum or the other. But this is another good thing that can be used for controlling flow rates. Yeah, it'll be at a lower pressure. But yeah. this is... this can handle uh, 3,000 PSI yes. inlet, and then the, the outlet's going to be low pressure. Yeah, like three... It's going to be low pressure. Yeah, it's going to be really low pressure. So Calibration um, style gas, low pressure. Yeah. Well, it's kind of your, your two options for that. So we gave those two options to the customer. We haven't heard back from them, them on that yet. Um, okay. Hopefully then, we will soon. Yeah, yeah. Or they might have just bought something. They might something. have found something else yeah, that they, they might like have just better. Bought it. Which, you know, it's fair. <laughs> um, Oh, they're looking for a, uh, someone's looking for a flow curve for a standard switchover. You want to pull up the switchover? You get the oh, yeah. behind you there. Make it real hard for you to get. So, yeah, this is a good question. It was a light one anyways. Uh, we don't have flow curves. We're going to show those in a little bit. <clears throat> but the uh, switchover system has a regular switchover regulator that delivers about 200 PSI to the uh, line regulator. And the line regulators are uh, 3420, 34A series. Uh, so the best thing to do is look at the flow curves for that. And I'm gonna, you can put that back now. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a uh, oh, wrong place for the curves. I forgot to show that catalog stuff. Uh oh, uh oh. But okay, so you wanna zoom in? Hopefully you get this. Okay, so this is a flow curve sheet for the 3420A, 3430A. It's the 20A is brass and the 30A is stainless, stainless steel. Uh, so I'm going to kind of explain things on how to read these flow curves. Hopefully we can get through on this. You got different axes. Axes. A plural of axis is axes. Uh, axes? Uh, no, it's axes. So an E instead of an I. <clears throat> so you've got the uh, delivery pressure here on, the, on, on this axis. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, you can pick out what delivery pressure you want. The top lines for like 125, so that's probably a good one to use. And the bottom is flow in standard cubic feet an hour. So if you want it per minute, you divide by 60. 60. If you want it by day, you multiply it by 24. Oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, and if you want to convert it to liters a minute, you have to, yeah, 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 do, yeah. You have to use some others. Yeah. 28 points. Just Google two. this to this, and, no. and then it you it'll know, pop up there. It'll pop okay. up. Okay. So what you're looking at is you want to look at, uh, now this has, this is set up for um, the... 200 psi supply, and it shows you the different different things. So you're looking at the yeah, 200 yeah. psi supply, 125 psi delivery pressure. So this is how the regulator will act. So this is kind of like we call this a standard flow curve. So you can see how it kind of dips down. You, you want to put up the graphic for the 3420A on the screen? There we go. Okay, I guess it's a little bit better. It's yeah, it is better. It's not moving around. It's not moving around, and, and I can I can see it. And you better. can see the whole the whole graph. Not you're yeah, missing the yeah. 200 psi g in the end. So yeah, the, the bottom's for uh, higher pressure. Yes. But uh, yeah, so the 200 psi, you're gonna see. You look at that, and then um, so it's 125 at no flow. If you bring it up to well, let's say static. really high, no flow, 60, static. Well, 600 standard cubic feet an hour, <clears throat> which would be 10 cfm. 
You can see it droops down to below. It's probably around, what do you think, 80 PSI or something mm -hmm. like that. So that's like a 45 PSI droop. That's really hard to yeah. really want to control. You really want to keep your uh, your delivery pressure to like a 20% um, droop factor. Okay. So you're looking at around 100 is probably the, the flow rate you want to look at. Yeah. So. It, that's once you get beyond that, it's a little bit harder to control, and it's really mm -hmm. kind of you see how it just kind of flow increases, the uh, the pressure will decrease. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how that works. So you want to uh, take that off and give me that close up. How then we're going to show um, Corio say this is a good flow curve, but I don't yeah. see much curve in these yes, things. It's a, this yeah. is our LPHF regulator. Oh yeah, this yeah, that is guy. our uh, Laser Pro regulator. Uh, we might talk about it later in the show. We might. So th this has a, it's a dome assist. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's a big regulator. It's oh, got it's a lot hog. Of, it's it's got a lot of yeah. It's got a lot of stuff going on there. The dome assist regulator will give you a really flat flow, flow curve. So if you're looking for um, high flow and then almost no droop, this is the way to go. Unless, it's unless, unless, that, no more about that little guy down there. Yeah, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, really. No, it is really good. At three, at 3,000, it starts to droop. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's can, half inch ported. You can stand in front of that flow rate and let it blow so your hair. <laughs> so you're going to, yeah, I'll put it this way. If you think a cylinder's 300 cubic feet max, <laughs> it's going to drain that sucker real fast. <laughs> so you might want to think. <laughs> about having more than one cylinder if you want high yeah. flow rate with this regulator. Yeah, it's so, true. So this is kind of an odd flow curve because most of them curve dip down. It's the curve, yeah. <laughs> so, but this one's a little bit different. But yeah, the same thing. You look at the. Oh, you want to put up the the graphic for the LPHF? Yeah. There you go. So you get um, easiest graph to read. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> flat. So it's got it shows you the inlet pressure and then. Um, yeah, the different delivery pressures. So you kind of look at that. And it's color coded, which is kind of neat. So you got the delivery pressure on the one axis, and then flow on the bottom, and then obviously convert it over to whatever you want to convert it over to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're gonna go into the oh boy, I have to get oh. <laughs> the last one. Okay, you want to do close up here? This is the the crazy graph. This is the opposite of the last. Graph. Yeah, this is got this is really it's a. I don't know, you can call it a good flow curve, but it's got oh, a lot it is of, a good, that's, well, it's a good curve. Of, it's that's like a curve. It's a dead man's curve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the 3200, 3240 series. I didn't bring that regulator with me. That's our uh, high, half inch high flow regulator. Mm -hmm. We use that for, it's yeah, very popular for applications. Um, the LPHF that we showed is only available in brass. So yeah. If you want higher purity stuff, this is the way to go. But if you look at it, it's going to have. Um, there's a lot of droop going on mm -hmm. in this sucker, but you can get the high flows. Oh, this is the, the flow rate they're showing standard cubic feet a minute. Yeah. So that. So yeah. So that's yeah. That's yeah, not even. So hour. you can kind of yeah. So you can see at a even at 100 standard cubic feet a minute. That's the kind of droop you get. So you look at um, here. This one's like I said a little goofy. Um, it is. They're showing 300 psi inlet and 500 psi inlet. So it depends on what you. 3,000 is kind of silly to use unless you're coming off a big uh, tube trailer or something. Mm -hmm. um, so 500 will give you a better idea of how the flow rate is. And if you're thinking about, oh, gee, what if I have 1,000 PSI? Well, it's going to be, uh, the curve is going to be above 500 and below 3,000. So yeah, so kinda, yeah, you kind of eyeball it. Kind of eyeball it in there. Um, so yes, so you, yeah, you look, the delivery pressure is in the droop, and you can see you got 3,000, 500. Uh, you want to put up the graphic for this? There you can see that a little bit better. Um, yeah, so you got the same delivery pressure, and it shows you that with the lower pressure, you're going to get a bigger droop factor. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's what you're showing in all those. And you got... Um, and just a, you know, just a reminder that you know uh, regulators are to regulate pressure. They don't regulate flow really. But so this is Correct. nice to know what flow you get yeah. out of it if you regulate and, it to this pressure. Yeah, and the, lo and the lower graph is all 300 psi inlets. Mm -hmm. So that's you know if you're looking at uh, a lot of applications, you're probably going to look at the 300 psi one because you're going to be coming off. It might be 
like a high flow switch over mm -hmm. would be second stage or if you're coming off a bulk system yeah you're probably going to if you're coming off a bulk tank you're looking at a couple hundred psi something like that so uh, yeah so that's that so you uh go back to the main camera huh. and you know do we have any no questions came in so no well we're just that good at explaining ourselves i guess or nobody something. we're just yeah. clear we're concise no questions at all so yeah don't be shy about doing questions <laughs> not now because we're kind of overextended yeah five minutes time. ago don't be shy now yeah be shy. at the end of the show we're just probably going to Cut it off before you get to it. Oh, well, what if it's really good though? There could be like one like. Well, there are some good whoa. stuff, but I don't want to be here for half an hour. I know. So. I know. I mean, yeah, we have a good one about. This might be our longest show. No, that's not. No, it's not. Uh, anyways, that's all the questions we're going to cover this week. We'll have. I know we already we already had a question come in today, so we got at least one really good question next week with uh, with with photos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week for another episode of The Bill and Corey Show. Set your VCRs.